So it's been interesting as we spent these days searching for freshwater mussels and recovering them and saving them is that at different locations, especially where there are a lot of gravel bars further upriver, we have found 10, 50, hundreds of mussels. But downstream, closer as we get to the dam, all that we're finding, either no mussels or we're finding mussel on the half shell. So, dead mussels. All we find are these shells here, which are just Half a, half a muscle. I'm panning around. Whoops. Over here, other half. Parts of another one. Pieces of other ones. Some more. These are all not live specimens. These are half shells. By the, I think in the last three minutes, I've counted maybe a hundred half shells. I've counted about a uh, hundred half shells in the last. Yeah. How about you? Uh, yeah, lots of uh, old dead halves. Old dead halves. Oh, we'll continue looking. Maybe we'll find one or two that we can save and recover. But it's not surprising that closer to the dam, where the water was deeper and more turbid, more sediment, that we would find fewer life specimens. And of course. And of course, even closer to the dam, you can see over on this side all the sediment that it collected here. Silt and sediment right behind where the dam used to be. That big pile of soil sediment, that's where the dam used to be.